All right, guys, today we're going to go ahead and fix our uranium shortage. We're going to go ahead and get that automated and good to go. So I hope you all enjoy. All right, guys, so a few episodes back, we went ahead and set up this. This is our, if you guys didn't see that video, uh, this is our uranium production center. Uh, what do we do is we put, um, we put uranium in here, it goes into here. Basically, one uranium turns into five uranium ingots. We have it set up for gold. Uh, that doesn't seem to be running. Or we just have a lot of gold. Wait, why aren't you running? Oh. We need to set this to dumping access. Okay, there we go. That should fix the issue. So, yeah. So, we have gold here, and then we have iron over here. I don't know if I set that up. I didn't set that up right as well. Uh, dumping access. Okay, so this is just slow. Or we're missing something. I'll fix this later. Anyway, so we need... The problem that we're running into is that we don't have enough uranium to support the making of our fissile fuel that we make here, uh, which makes us the... the the, obviously the fissile fuel, fissa, what is it? Fissile fuel um, that we get our power from because the power goes here, goes into our turbines down below. I forgot, I don't have any elevators. Our turbine down below here and it generates all of our power. As you can see, we're all cut up as of right now, but I want to have this so I can just leave it running nonstop. And the issue has been the uranium side of this uh, because this stuff here does require, uh, let's see here. As you can see in the enrichment chamber, this is the thing that requires the uranium, and that is what we are in fact missing. Uh, so if we go like this, wait a sec. So yeah, that is the issue that we're running into, and we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that today. Now in normal Valhelsia 3, there isn't really a way to get uranium other than moving our digital miners everywhere, and that is a huge waste of time because the digital miners only have a mining space of 32 blocks in either direction. So that's a, a, it's a huge limit that we're, we continue to run into, and I'm kind of sick of it. So today, guys, I went ahead and installed a mod into Valhelsia 3 uh, called Spatial Harvesters. It is a mod. From Dunkmania101, he's actually someone who's been very active in the comments section. So he he let me know he had this mod. I went ahead and checked it out. I was like, hey, this would be a good fit. It is updated to 1.16.1, so that is a huge plus. So we're going to go ahead and give a crack at this today. So I did load up a creative testing world and was testing this out, and I think it's actually going to be relatively good. Uh, so we're going to need to get a ore harvester. Uh, that's going to be our first base. We need a ore harvester 1. Then we're going to need quite a few other items. We need a, a space ripper here, and then that should be okay for us to get started. Um, now, in the process of making this, we will go ahead and make quite a few things. So we're going to make this base powder first. Should be pretty simple to make. Just clay, flint, coal, and sand. Oh, I didn't want to use the black sand for that. That's kind of lame. Uh, then we also need to make this casing. Okay, we should be able to make that. Yep, full stack. Very cool. All right, so we got our first one here. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make eight of these. We're going to have eight of these running at one time because when our our quarry slash uh, like miner is running, this is going to be knucking futs. I don't know if that makes any difference, but we're going to see if it does. I think it just needs ores. Perfect, so we got all of those crafted up. Now we should just be able, yep, we have all eight, perfect. Now I believe the only thing we need to do is supply this with power. Now because most of our power is down here, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of put these here basically. Um, we're gonna have another power tap over here and we're gonna set these bad boys up. So we got three, four, five, six, Seven and eight, and then no, actually, just kidding. I want to get some, yeah, the the transport cables down below. I believe mechanism pipes work with these. We're gonna go ahead and test it out. That is not something 
I tested out. I just had a chest underneath. If not, I do. We can just make chests. Not that pro big of a problem. Okay. Got the transporter here. We're going to put these into a chest so that we can go ahead and monitor it. Perfect. All righty. So, yes, power tap. We're going to put over here. We're also going to run this like so. Oh, these aren't stack after you place them down. That's kind of sad. Are these even? Oh, they're not connecting. Okay, so we might just need to put chests here, which is okay. All right, so I might have gone a little overkill with the chests. I did make a stack of them. I didn't actually know I had the ability to do that. One, two, three, four, seven. Okay, so we're just going to do seven because it lines up perfectly. And I don't really want to make it look bad. Um, yes, so we're actually going to go like this. This is going to be where our export chest is going to be that we get all of our items from. I don't feel like having to check every single spot. So we're going to make this as easy as possible for us. Perfect. All right, let's grab our configurator here. Set it to items. Okay, and then we'll set this one to push into. So I'll take items out, throw it into there, and then all we need to do next is throw these up. Perfect. All right, and then we, and then, blah, 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 I can't speak. If we supply these with power, we should be getting items. So let's get some universal cables. We're just going to use the elite ones for now. These are just the tier ones. And I really need to set up some elevators down here to just go straight through. But I digress. Hello. Cool. So it's got two power taps in here. These items should be pumping out. Yep. As you can see, we are getting items now. Now we are looking for these shards because uh, I guess these are what, what upgrade us to tier two. Uh, so yeah, if we look at this here or harvester tier two, so we need a full one of these. That's why we have all of these guys set up. So these are these guys are going to be running, giving us ores. They're all going to be dumping into here. Let's see. Look at that. Redstone, gold. Okay, so what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to record a time lapse of this so you guys can see what's going on here, and I'll put on the screen how fast it's going uh, so you guys will know. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. It shouldn't be very long. All right, so quite a bit of time has actually passed. We've been getting lots of resources. However, there does seem to be an issue. Now, in my creative testing world, I have the max tier, uh, one of those guys going, and it seems to you know, continuously go fill up the entire chest. Uh, but however, I was only able to get uh, a total of seven items of each uh, that would come out of here. So I don't know if there was an issue going on. Uh, but it would only let me have seven, so I had to keep breaking these to have me give it more. And I don't know if that is just because they're not the high enough tiers. 
Uh, but let's see here. We're going to go ahead and upgrade these guys now. Uh, I want to go ahead and make those shards first to find out how many we need to go ahead and break. Uh, and then we will continue to have these guys running. Uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and make five of these. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get those guys. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to, to upgrade some of these. Okay, so two, three, four. Okay, so we have the five that we're going to go ahead and upgrade. Let's go ahead and get on up top. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get some more elevators so I can quickly get down and get back up. But, you know, who's got time for that? So, yes, what do we need here? We just need this guy again. Five uses. We go here. Okay, we're going to throw this guy there, this guy there. Harvester tier two. Okay, so we got all of our, our harvesters here. Perfect. And we got some bad boys. What you gonna do? Anyway, um, yeah, so if I didn't know this before, but if you put more of these space rippers on here. Uh, it will collect more of the so it like basically think about a clock. Every time it gets down to the bottom, it puts an item in, and so the more uh, these space rippers you have, the more items get put in every time it goes around. Uh, so yeah, and then I believe the, the the tiers, the different tiers, are the speed at which these guys go. So if we have the tier twos, hopefully we get more of these, and it wouldn't be a bad idea just to make a bunch of these tier ones, and then. Like, have them all go and give us the tier one shards, stuff like that. I'm not sure what the, the best approach is for this, uh, but I definitely think that they're working. Yep, our, our quarry or our, our turbine here is working like a dream. It does glitch out a little bit there. I don't know why. But yeah, look at all the items that we are, we are getting. Very cool. Um, I want to go ahead and break these real quick. Got a weird feeling, weird vibe from these things. Yeah. Okay, so we supplied power. Okay, we do have them coming in now. Okay, and then, yeah, so we just go up the tiers. Um, tier two, tier three. It's literally the same thing, but you have to use the different uh, shards. So shard 7 gives you the shard, shard 8 one. So yeah, I'm going to be here for a bit. Going to be trying to upgrade these. Haven't got a tier 2 one yet. Would be kind of fun to go ahead and get all these. Uh, but we also, I'm going to go ahead and make some more of these as well. And then we might go ahead and just link this up to our uh, apply or our refined storage system. Wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'm going to go... Uh, we're going to kind of let this run overnight because we're going to set up a system to put the... the items in our storage system here, so we shouldn't have any difficulties with that whatsoever which should be pretty nice. Okay, so the importer has been set up here, kind of goes up and into our system over there. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and kind of patch some of these holes we got here up. Didn't realize we had so many different holes here. Um, yeah, so room feels a little bit cleaner here. Uh, this obviously isn't going to be what the final room looks like. We are going to be working on that soon. Uh, and then these aren't going to be the final resting spots for these guys as well. We are going to go ahead and max these guys out, but uh, not as of yet. Um, yeah, so let's go take a look up at our uranium situation up there. All right, so let's see here. Do we have anything? Do we have a little bit of uranium in here getting processed? Very good, very good. 
Okay, okay, this is good to see. Means our sulfur production is doing very well. Um, let's see, do we have any? Let's check how many, how much fissile fuel do we have? Oh, we're running low. We're running out. Fun. Um, hmm. All right, so I made a slight adjustment. It should be the best that we can do as of right now. I mean, we always could add a bunch more of these guys, but uh, I went ahead and space these out, have two in between. Uh, look kind of cool, honestly. But uh, yeah, so these have the max amount of the um, space rippers that they can have, one on each side, one output down below, and then power on the back. I believe this is the best setup for these, and eventually we'll have like a whole room filled with like the max tier ones. And I've looked at the speed of the max tier ones, guys, and they're ridiculous. I can't wait to get those ones set up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to let these run. We're going to try to get, get up into the, the higher tiers for this episode. So I need to go AFK for a bit and let these guys process. All right, guys. So I made a mistake. I, as you can see, we got some particles going. Uh, nothing exploded, but uh, I did accidentally let the um, nuclear waste overflow and uh, it uh, kind of messed up. But uh, yeah, so I want to let you guys know we have uh, officially put these guys, these elevators in. So amazing. And if you look here, we're up to tier eight. So we're up to the max, uh, maximum amount of these that we can have. If we come over here, should be seeing them. Unless they're bugged out again. Nope, they're still going. Okay, they seem to only be producing the tier seven shard. Let's go ahead and do this. See if we're gonna get the ores again because that's what we want. I need to just chunk load these or something. I'm not sure if you guys have used this mod. Let me know down in the comment section what I'm doing wrong. I keep having to break these and place them again. It's kind of annoying. But once we do get these guys back up and running, these guys are cooking. Uh, we're getting ores like every second, pretty much. Uh, yeah, as you can see, just ore after ore after ore. Cool thing is uh, the radiation around, we don't have to really worry about because um, I have the radiation shielding. Uh, if you can see over here, that's our rating. We're, we're doing perfectly fine. We got nothing to worry about. So yeah. Um, Pretty crazy. I want to show you our fissile fuel production here. We have uh, quite a bit. We're still making more. Um, we're almost at a point that we can go ahead and just leave this on now. I might need to reboot the server uh, to fix the issue where these guys uh, don't produce enough or don't continue to produce items. Uh, that might be the issue. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, but that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And next video, guys, we're going to go ahead and do some stuff with that, uh, that nuclear waste. So I hope you all are there. I hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.